All right, guys. The California Tropical Storm Hillary fan of here, first of all. And it's been hitting California, guys. Like, pretty hard, pretty hard. And, um, yeah, guys. I posted on my main channel an actual clip of, you know, the flooding. It's nearly flooding in my backyard. Um, and, yeah. Hopefully it just doesn't keep piling up because if at, at this point it will get into my house and uh you know we gotta do like move our electronics and stuff yo so let's check it out let's see how it flooded like los angeles and stuff guys um and uh yeah it, it's hitting uh where i live around it's also going towards vegas and stuff i live in southern california into this what you'll notice is again the barometric pressure is increasing as we showed you from the last advisory just meaning that it's weakening it slowed down just to touch and again those winds are coming on down bro looks like the the midwest or, or like oregon on, on any winter day currently right guys like i don't want you to let your guard down my grandparents would always say you brought the weather with you you brought the weather with you now Oregon? Oregon seems to have brought their weather down here or something, guys. I don't know. It always rains in Oregon, though. It rains quite often. Because the imagery that you're seeing below me still shows the impacts that we're seeing in terms of flooding. And we have just a handful of flash flood warnings that are still ongoing. L.A., for example, second largest city in America dealing with some flash flooding as we speak. Clearly, with the video that you can see under me where we picked up already between a half an inch to an inch of rain so far with more on the way through the afternoon, the evening and the overnight hours. Dang, so it's 4.04 p.m. right now and it's it's going to rain all night. Snap, bro. SoCal, Southern California, east of San Diego, also seeing flash flooding. And it's not just the flash flooding that we're seeing there, but there's also rock slides. There are landslide concerns. Notice the number of storm reports that we've seen. A handful of storm reports has already led to, again, we've received reports of not only uh, large boulders in the roadway. Hillary's wrecking havoc right now, guys. Boulders and everything. I do like the water. I do like rain. But when it becomes like a safety hazard like this, that's when... That's when things get, can go bad, right guys? That's when things are not good, fun no more. Okay, so again, the mudslides, the landslides, and the rock slides, but also we've received reports on top of Big Black Mountain, 84 mile per hour winds. Look at the rain that we've picked up so far in Mount Laguna, California, nearly four inches of rain. Death Valley, known for being the hottest place on the planet, right? only averages about one hundredth of an inch of rain per year has already picked up over two and a quarter inches or pretty close. Uh, Dead Valley as well, known as the hottest place in earth, on earth during summer, guys. Or one of the hottest places on earth. Well, close to it. And the breadth and depth of Hillary, I think, is what's really interesting. Notice that from San Diego and just west of Phoenix, it's the tropical storm wind field that we're seeing. So southern and western parts of phoenix toward you know the western edges of maricopa county yuma arizona and then up toward lake havasu city and for our friends in san diego yeah those are tropical storm force winds that you're contending with and notice the direction of the wind flow at least for the next little bit is coming in from an east southeast direction that's running right up against the san diego mountains as that happens those mountains squeeze out all kinds of moisture and it's the reason why we're seeing those impressive rainfall totals that are still stacking up it's also one of the reasons why when that wind is guys look at the winds man now where i live the winds aren't bad that that, that bad but Snap, bro, 84, bro. They could almost, like, blow me away or something, bro. I don't know, I don't know how much wind force it takes. Uh, you know, but I'm not trying to find out either, guys. It's funneled through those mountains. Kind of like this, if there's a mountain here and there's a mountain here and there's wind running right through those mountains, there's a squeeze play that takes place. And again, it leads to those impressive 
uh, wind gust speeds of over 75 miles per hour in Campo, California. And then for our friends, as we mentioned in Big Black Mountain, California, over 80 to nearly 85 mile per hour wind gusts. For a number of Americans, over 20 million Americans from Los Angeles, California, down I-5 as you're heading to San Diego and then across Interstate 8, we are under tropical storm warnings. The first time ever that we've seen that in parts of the desert southwest in Los Angeles, the surrounding communities, Pasadena included in that. And then notice that because of... Like literally ever, bro. We're getting like quickly like humbled or something, bro. Like ever, ever? What the heck is going on, guys? Of all the rain that we've already seen and it's only going to increase in duration at least throughout the next say 24 hours or so or i should say 12 to 24 hours from basically vegas down to san diego that red shaded area right here indicates an extreme flash flood threat again we've already seen one to two inches of rain Dang, i'm not sure if i exactly live in that area but i live pretty close i'm at least in the yellow uh area here maybe the red <laughs> they, they, they straight up attacking me man i don't even know what what's attacking me there's forces in nature never expect it's better than an earthquake though right guys earthquakes can be worse actually we actually did get an earthquake warning earlier in the stream rain in places like acatillo california of some impressive video coming in from out of there that i've seen online uh, along I-8, it's about 70 miles or so. But thankfully, it's not like uh, anywhere near Nash, like a, a a disaster level, right, guys? That's good, that's good. East of San Diego, where we've picked up some pretty incredible flooding. And again, that's going to be toward the Imperial Valley for friends and family in Palm Springs. And then up Interstate 15, as you're heading in the direction of Las Vegas, we're seeing that flash flood threat. One of the reasons why, even though we're not talking about demonstrative rain totals, we're not talking about like eight to 10 inches that have fallen up to this point, yet we're still seeing those videos rolling in of street flooding is because the soil out that way is basically like concrete, right? When you, you know, the kids are having a water balloon fight on the grass, what happens? The water balloon pops, it soaks right in, it's not a big deal. You have a water balloon fight on concrete and the balloon pops and that water just sits there, right? And then think about the millions of gallons of water that we're going to see along the path of Hillary on concrete or on... Snap, bro. Thankfully, we have a storm, dra storm drains where I live, guys. We do have a few storm drains and that's good. Soil that is nearly impermeable, right? It has no place to go. It, of course, flows down into some of those wash basins, into some of the concrete washes in those storm water channels. And that's where we start to see the flooding concerns, especially when those start to overtop those channels. So how much rain is still expected? Several more inches of rain, again, basically in this area. And what you'll notice as we put our exclusive Fox model into motion for you is the fact that that center of circulation will continue to ride toward the north. Bakersfield, Fresno, if you're flying in or out of the airport there in Fresno, double check those flights because again, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a number of delays, cancellations and all because of that. Vegas, same sort of story. Dang. As well as the San Bernardino Sheriff issuing mandatory evacuations, guys. Story for you, Reno, the capital. That's what it says right there. Capital, same sort of story, and right along, say, the Sierra Nevada mountain ranges, I think we'll end up seeing a lot of rain. So rain is going to be an issue, and it's one of the reasons why we have millions of Americans as we speak that are under flood alerts right now. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, this is a breath of a sigh of relief, should we say. By tomorrow morning and more so into tomorrow afternoon, we will finally sound the all clear in Southern California from Los Angeles down I-5 into San Diego. Oh, snap, okay, okay. We just gotta make it like 12 more hours back, bro. Like 12 more hours, guys. Uh, it started like early in the morning. 
I didn't think it would continue all this whole time, and it's it's uh, it's good though. Before we get there, though, there's going to be uh, you know a whole lot of rain, a little bit of wind in there, and a flash flood threat that we're going to have to contend with. So, how much more rain is on the way? Los Angeles, that's two to three inches. I know, and I completely understand. If you're joining us from Chicago, Detroit, Philly, Cleveland, you look at two to three inches of rain and you're like, yeah, that's just any other Tuesday for us. What's the big deal? Two to three inches of rain in Los Angeles when their monthly average in the month of August in LA is but a trace. So I know, right? We never, guys, I lived in California my whole life and we, it's just not expected during the summer. Like, we we never expect summer to, uh, rain during the summer ever, guys. Now this is going on. This is something different for sure. We're talking about multiple magnitudes of order larger than that. Two to three inches of rain in just a, what, 24, 36, 72 hour period. That can lead to lots of problems. Palm Springs, California. This is going to be another zone it's surrounded by mountains. It's a beautiful spot if you've ever been there. One of the reasons why it's so picturesque is because of the gorgeous mountains. The problem, though, is when all of that rain, notice right here toward uh, Monaranago Valley, that's about... It's Morongo. Eight to sorry, sorry. <laughs> There's a casino right, right near there. 12 inches of rain. What happens there, that rain runs down the mountain, and then toward the base of the mountains is where all of that begins to congregate and all of that water begins to flow into. So think about the creeks, the rivers, the streams. We, of course, have the San Diego River. That's a huge collection basin for a lot of that water runoff from the mountaintops. And same sort of story in L.A. All of these mountains, you'll see a lot of runoff. In so yeah, one to two inches. I guess our cities aren't that prepared for it. Like we, our cities haven't ad adapted to you know just getting rain during the summer, guys. As as much as other cities, you know, we don't have that. We might not have that much infrastructure to for us to you know withstand this sort of stuff, guys. Just because you know it's California, we we don't really expect it. But hey, we live next to the ocean and. Ocean covers so much of the earth, it's bound to happen one day, right? And it's this is a clear example of it happening. And so into those concrete washes, into those stormwater channels, it's going to be potentially dangerous and if not deadly to be anywhere near, especially when they start to overtop themselves. So let's talk a little bit. It looks like it's even going towards the middle of the USA as well. More about the mechanics behind where Hillary is heading. It's a big dome of high pressure. This thing's responsible, by the way, for the for the immense heat. One story that we really haven't talked much about just because of the fact that Hillary's taken all the attention is the fact that there's a big bubble of heat in the central plains in the United States. It's on the western edge of that bubble of heat where we have that south to north flow of air and Hillary's basically following and being funneled right through that. And as that happens, you'll notice that... Hey, at least we don't have 40, 40 inches of rain predicted, guys. Not only from San Diego to L.A., but up through Vegas, friends and family, even as far north as Boise, Idaho, through Tuesday, could be talking about multiple inches of rain. This all compliments of Hillary. As I never thought it could be a... I, I I totally thought it was not a a California thing, bro. Could we see flooding? Absolutely. This came out of nowhere. I learned about this this week, like literally, like Wednesday or something. Toward Burns and northeast of Burns, Boise, Idaho, and just north of Boise, there is a very real and present danger for flooding, and you'll see that from Reno, Nevada, all the way or all the way down to Vegas, and everywhere sandwiched in between. By the time we get to Monday and then into early Tuesday morning, that 24 to 36 hour period, there's a big flood threat there. And so, again, it just means and it's just a harbinger of what's to come from Salmon down toward Twin Falls, Winnemucca to Reno, and even east of Redding, California. It, it, there is that flash flood threat. I made me freeze. All right, guys, that's a video.
Check out Fox Weather in the description. I'm from San Diego, and there's not been a gust of wind past 10 miles per hour. I know, right, guys? I'm not even feeling it that much. He's trying awfully hard to turn his life threatening catastrophic storm. Well, he's kind of scaring me when he says that, right, guys? What an earthquake. What a nice time to be alive. I know, right? The, side, the sidewalks and streets are... And streets is it? Oh gosh, man! Toxic comments. Toxic comments, guys. I will see you guys next video. Check out them in the description. I do all my reactions live on Twitch, so if you want to come through, say hi. You're more than welcome. Peace out, everyone. Thank you for watching.